you can get aesthetic, you can get lean, you can get that movie star, Greek god, chiseled ass physique. And I'm going to tell you in this video how I got that physique, how I became aesthetic, made it simple, and how you can become aesthetic. So if I look back on my fitness journey, you know, when I started, this is all I wanted. Like, I wanted to get aesthetic. I wanted to look like a Greek god. You know, it was for a couple reasons. Mainly, it was to get girls, to be honest. Secondly, it was, you know, to get stronger and to be respected by guys around me and to improve my status. So I started out, you know, as skinny fat. I wasn't in good shape. I was quite short, weak. And, you know, I had that skinny fat build, right? No muscle, but some fat as well. I was out of shape, didn't look good. Didn't know what the fuck I was doing, right? I didn't know how to train for aesthetics. I didn't know how to lift properly. I would go to the gym and just hit chest the whole day, like bro split. And then I'd hit arms and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was doing circuits, all sorts of weird shit. <laughs> but how did I actually go about becoming aesthetic? So when I first started going to the gym, I was, you know, I didn't track anything. I was skinny fat. And I started by, you know, just doing, watching YouTube videos, right? Consuming content. I started by doing push pull legs a few times a week. I wasn't really tracking much, blah, blah, blah. But when I really started to break down what made me aesthetic and the things I did right, that's what I'm going to be explaining to you. So the things that helped me the most, the way I became aesthetic is training three times a week. Now you can train as much as you like, right? If you want to train more than that, that's fine, blah, blah, blah. But the point is I trained a specific amount of time on a consistent basis and I tracked all my lifts. That's what you need to do. So you can get aesthetic lifting two times, three times, four, five, six, seven times a week. You just need to be, you know, having a consistent routine, targeting certain muscle groups, which I'll explain later in the video. And you need to be doing it on a consistent basis. The truth is, you know, all these routines work. You need to find the one that works best for you. The one that's worked best for me and the one that I recommend is working out three times a week, focusing on these core muscle groups. That's how I became aesthetic. That's what I recommend. So, you know, you need to have, so pick a routine, pick some exercises, something you can be consistent to. That's number one. Now, the next thing is you need to, base off where you're starting and go from there, right? So I started as skinny fat, which meant I needed to bulk. Now you might be starting at super skinny or obese or whatever. The point is you have a starting point and you have an end point, right? You want to get aesthetic. We know that, but you need to go, okay, from where I am now, how can I get there? What's the best path for me to get there? Okay. I need a routine. I need a consistent routine I can stick to. I got that. Now it's either, do I need to lose weight, gain weight, or stay at my current weight, but just get leaner. So if you need to gain weight, right? If you're skinny fat or you're skinny, you need to bulk up. You need to bulk up so you can build muscle. Now, a lot of problems people have, like skinny fat people, don't want to cut, right? Because they're like, oh, I have this excess fat. I just want to cut. I just want to get rid of it. And you can do that, but you're not going to look lean and shredded. You're not going to look like Brad Pitt from Fight Club, you're not going to get super lean and look good because you don't have any muscle. You're just going to look less skinny fat. You're still going to look skinny fat, but smaller. So you need to build muscle first. This is why I recommend that you bulk a lean bulk, two to 300 calorie surplus over a long period of time. You bulk up, you build that muscle for at least a year and a half, a year, two years. This way, when you cut, you're going to have muscle underneath. You're going to look sick as fuck. You're going to look aesthetic. So if you're skinny or skinny fat, you need to bulk up. You need to get some muscle on you before you cut. Now, if you're overweight or you're bulked up or you're obese, you need to be cutting weight, right? You need to lose weight. You need to be in a deficit. So you, you obviously want to work out, right? That was number one. Get a consistent routine workout. Number two, find out what you need to be doing. Now, if you're obese, you need to be working out and cutting weight, like building muscle and then getting to a certain weight, cutting, 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 cutting until you're lean enough to look aesthetic. At that point, you'll already have muscle on and you'll be looking great. So these are kind of the pathways to aesthetics. You pick a routine, you decide if you need to cut or bulk or whatever, you need to get to a certain body fat percentage. Now, I recommend for maximum aesthetics, you need to be 13% or to eight. That's kind of the golden range for being healthy, you know, having a maintainable 
amount of leanness and maintainable physique, but also looking lean and aesthetic at the same time. So that's kind of the range you want to shoot for. And then holding as much muscle as you can as a natural or if you're in gear, whatever. But most of you, I assume, are natural. I'm a natural. So, you know, maintaining the most amount of muscle that you can while being in that specific body fat percentage range. Now, you know, what are some other tips on how it became aesthetic? Made simple. So, yeah, you need to lay out your pathway, right? You need to decide if you should cut or bulk. You need to prioritize certain lifts. So let's say you're skinny fat. You're like, okay, I need to bulk up and I need to stick to a routine. Which routine should I do? Well, it doesn't matter too much which routine you should do. Like you've probably seen others. I recommend three times a week. But the most important thing is focusing on these key muscles. You want to be focusing on the shoulders, getting them wider. You want to be focusing on the upper chest, getting that out more. You want to be fo focusing on the, the lats, getting them wider, and then the abs, getting them more defined. Now, the reason I say all these muscle groups and not legs or whatever, blah, 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 the other muscle groups are important, right? Biceps, triceps, they're important. Traps, they're important. Legs, they're all important, but this isn't bodybuilding. We don't care about those muscles as much as we do as the shoulders, chest, lats, and abs. This is because they don't contribute to the V taper, right? And the V taper is what makes you aesthetic. It's what gives you that nice V shape, that aesthetic, attractive look. You know, that Greek god, chiseled movie star, whatever you want to call it, that look comes from the V taper. And the V taper comes from developing these muscles, it comes from the shoulders and the lats. And having that strong upper chest gives you that plate of armor look, which is going to make you look ultimately like a superhero, like a movie star. You're going to look sick. So the best way to grow these muscles are, you know, developing all parts of the shoulder. So doing shoulder press, that's going to hit all parts, specifically the upper part of the delt. Doing lateral raises are great for developing the side delt. And for the rear delt, you can do, you know, a cable rear delt fly. I've always done those. I thought they were really great for growing the shoulders. So there's some exercises you can do for the shoulders. Now for the upper chest, you want to be doing incline press, incline chest press. And the one tip I can give you for chest development in general is don't do any flat chest movements. If your focus is on aesthetics, don't do flat bench press. Don't do flat dumbbell press. Just don't do it. Only do it strictly incline. Now, most people do a 45 degree incline. You want to be at a 30 degree, which is more like this. That's ideal for growing the chest and taking pressure off the shoulders. Like when you do a 45 degree angle, that's going to be putting more pressure on the front delt, which we don't want. We want to grow the chest, right? For this exercise, at least. So don't do any flat shit. That won't help you grow your chest. You want to be, well, okay, we'll help you grow the lower chest, you know, this portion of your chest. There's two portions, right? The upper portion and then everything else. So to grow the upper portion, you want to be doing incline press. And this is also going to grow the lower portion as well, right? Like this bottom half, let's just say, of the chest grows really well by itself, you know, doing any sort of movement for the chest. It's really the upper chest, which is hard to grow. That's why we're focusing only on that. Okay, so cut out any flat movements. Just trust me, try it out. Your chest growth will explode. Mine did. I'm proof of that. I have a great chest. It's one of my strong points. And the way I developed it is by doing incline movements, specifically only incline movements. Okay, they're great for your chest development. Now, moving on to the lats and the abs, how can we target them? Well, for lats, you need to be doing pull-ups. I don't care what the fuck you say. I don't care, blah, blah, blah. Just do pull-ups weighted, assisted, whatever. You need to be doing pull-ups. They're great for growing the back. They help you get wider. They help really contribute to that V taper, giving that amazing aesthetic look. Now let's target the abs. There's really one main exercise I love to do, and it's really great for getting them lean, you know, getting them bigger, protruding, getting that chiseled look. It's the hanging knee raise, and you can do this with weights once it gets too easy. So you hang from a bar and you literally just crunch your knees up to your chest and you do this for four sets till failure. That's what I do. And if it gets too easy, just simply put a dumbbell in between your legs and then do the movement. And this is really great for developing the abs. So those are the muscle groups you want to target. Now you have your consistent routine. You want to base it off of these muscle groups, prioritizing them, right? And, you know, just as a general rule, I think you should be focusing on two thirds of your time needs to be on upper chest, one third on lower. This is going to help you build more aesthetics, right? Because 
legs don't matter as much for looking aesthetic. They really don't. Like, yeah, they're good, right? You want to have good legs. You don't want to have chicken legs, right? No one wants to have chicken legs. But they're not as crucial for aesthetics. Like, if you see a guy with shredded six-pack, he's going to look aesthetic, right? But if you see a guy with, like, shredded quads and nothing else, he's a completely underdeveloped upper body, he doesn't really look aesthetic, right? So as guys, it's really important we focus more on upper body than legs, but don't neglect legs, right? Don't get chicken legs, still train them, just not as often as you would things like shoulders or lats or chest, because they're, frankly, they're not as important. They just aren't, okay? So make a routine, make it around, you know, prioritizing these muscle groups, training however many days a week that's convenient to you. I recommend three times a week. You make a routine, you decide if you should bulk or cut, and then you start training. It's as simple as that. Okay. Simple as that. So you make your routine, prioritize these muscle groups. You start going to the gym, you start eating in a caloric deficit or surplus or whichever you need to do. And then as you develop, as you work out more, you kind of adapt things around it. You get more experience, you get closer to that aesthetic physique. And that's the pathway I took. Now, as you're going along, you're going to see, okay, like me, my shoulders were a weak point. Okay. So now I'm going to take one exercise away from chest because my chest looks good, but my shoulders are lacking. I'm going to take one exercise away from chest and add one for shoulders. And you start doing this, you start identifying your weak points and you start building them up and building a proportion of aesthetic physique. But the main thing you need to do is you need to start now. You need to pick something you can be consistent to and identify if you should bulk or cut. That's how you get aesthetic made simple. You need to take action, do the things I talked about in this video. That's how you can become aesthetic guaranteed. This is made simple, you know, and if you need help making a routine or you want to look at an example one, you can just literally join my community. It's completely free. I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's a free community. Just hit the link below. You apply to join. I'll give you access to a free course or talk about how you can make your routine. And in the community, I also gave out my own routine. You can have access to that. So it's like I said, it's completely free. You can apply to join using the link below. And that's it for this video. Take care, guys. See ya.